falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a popper's apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What do you want? If you're gonna say something, out with it. Big B. Hello? Anybody home? It's a spot of dust. I'll clean it later. Could do a better job dusting. I no. So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Looks to be in a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. Now, if it's blood, you know what happened. No. I... There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? I scared Junior off to death. Uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? You don't have spares? Separate key under the mat or something? In this neighborhood? Are you off your rocker? If it ain't chained to me billfold, the mungy rats will take it away as soon as they catch a starlit twinkle. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. 
Not yet. You stay here to accuse me of heaven knows. And for what, Big B? You've seen the whole room. Nothing's happened. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When I say so, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. <sighs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. This is the job, Snow. You may not like it, but this is the job. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. Do you know what he was looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap if you're looking for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or 
I don't know, someone who will know where to find it. 